My name is Bruce Waddle. Um, I'm the clinical director at the, the Willows Veterinary Hospital, which is part of uh, the Willows Veterinary Group with practice all over Cheshire. Alabama rot, or cutaneous and renal glomerular vasculopathy, as, as veterinary surgeons know it, is a disease that um, we've been seeing probably since about 2012. Most dogs seem to have contracted the disease when they've been walking in woodland areas. In total, there are about 142 cases that have been seen, and those have been spread across the entirety of the UK. Uh, we've seen them in, in England, Scotland, Ireland and Wales. There's a concentration of cases um, around Greater Manchester, in Dorset and also in New Forest as well. So far, as of March 2018, we've seen 20 cases this year. There is actually a map available online which shows where cases have been seen. The first signs that we see of the Alabama rot are often skin lesions. Now these can vary sometimes from what look like little ulcers uh, to actually looking like sort of just little cuts and abrasions. One of the most common areas we see them are on the lower leg, sort of down here, uh, but we often see them on the belly. Just sort of down around this area here and up around here. Other areas we commonly see them are actually around the muzzle area. So we'd be looking in here, and occasionally some dogs will actually have them on the tongue as well. The next step that happens is some dogs will develop sort of acute kidney disease. Signs with that, we would see the dog being inappetent, not wanting to eat, we may see vomiting, the dog may have a high temperature and may become very well unwell on themselves. The skin lesions will sometimes be the sole sign that we see, but other dogs will go on to develop a significant kidney disease uh, and that can be fatal in a lot of these cases. When we first see signs of the, the, the skin lesions, we would recommend coming in to see a veterinary surgeon. Um, they can check the dog over and think whether it, they think it is actually associated with the Alabama rot or whether it is something different. They can look to run some blood tests to see whether there's any sign of any kidney abnormalities and if necessary admit the dog to start them on fluid therapy at that stage and other appropriate treatment. In preventing the disease, because at this stage we also don't know exactly what causes it, uh, the best advice we can give is that you actually wash your dog when they come back from a walk. Actually wash them completely to get rid of all the mud uh, and everything else that's stuck on them rather than just wiping them down with a towel. If you are concerned your dog may have Alabama rot, you've seen some skin lesions, you're just worried about your dog, we would recommend you contact your local well as vet group practice to be seen as soon as you can.